What's going on? Welcome to another hottest balls day in Shreveport, Louisiana. Today has sucked. Uh, but I get to come home to this beautiful thing. Right here. This is the July Battle Box. Now, real quick, um, for those of you that don't know about Battle Box, they're a survival and tactical gear delivered monthly. All right, I've been really happy with them. I've, you know, for the majority of it, I've liked it. Um, they had one box that was a little bit, eh, but even at that, I still liked the box. It wasn't horrible. It's just not what I expected from survival and tactical. Uh, anyway, Battle Box is doing this thing right now where they're uh, trying to help out. It's called the Just One Project, I think it is, and they're trying to help out one veteran. Now, everybody might say, you know, well, they can give and they can help out a bunch of veterans, but, you know, whenever you do that, you know, the veteran's not getting enough to make any substantial change. You might help him for a day, but you're not changing his life. You're not, you know, you get what I'm saying. So they've decided they want to help one veteran and they're taking, you know, letters and everything for you to recommend them. So I recommend you go over to battlebox.com. You can check that out. They did a little fundraising thing for them where from the so-called box I wasn't a huge fan of, they had a pretty cool knife. I'm not a huge fan, I'm not a collector of knives, but I thought, why not? It's my way of helping, you know, and I get something out of it, you know, selfish. Americans and being the way we are, but you know, it's for a good cause. So, and I did like the knife, it's kind of cool. But I got number 67, it was for you to order any of the two to a thousand numbers. There's only 6,000 of these made, and the lower the numbers, the typically the more valuable they are. This here is the Mini Kami, it came in mission 26, it's a friction folder and it's pretty cool i mean it's got a copper handle it is uber sharp but you know it is a tiny little knife and it's more for show or not really any personal use other than for show and but it is cool so i bought one i already have one but i did i do like the knife so I bought it as a collector's and my way of giving back kind of thing. So, anyway, I really wanted number 77, but I got 67. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. All right. All right, all that being said, now what you're here for, that's three minutes, you know, what you're here for is this box here. All right, let's get the Braza out. I found it. This is what happens whenever you let people clean your house. You know, my sister cleans my house. So, she comes over every so often. I pay her, you know. So, it works out. But, she moves stuff. And then you can't find stuff. So, great. Come home, can't find nothing. Open up the box. This is what you're going to see. Alright, so, this here is the American AF. Alright, this is... Operator owned. Now this is an, I think it's mostly, like almost all American made and veteran owned companies that are in on this. So let's get right into it and we'll just kind of go down through. Uh, I'm gonna show you this. You can pause on it and that'll tell you what we're looking at. All right. I will talk about the prices as far as giving it to you, but we all know you can find stuff cheaper here, cheaper there. You go to Amazon, go to whatever. I, I'm, I'm over discussing it. If you don't think it's worth it, feel free to comment, you know, but I'm pretty, probably not going to just come back at you. And I mean, if you have a reason why you think something isn't valued right, I'm more than willing to listen and I may agree with you. I just, 
I'm not I'm I'm not a big confrontational person, so let's not get into it. Alright. <laughs> Alright, first thing in this box is the Warfighter Tobacco Cigar. Now a lot of people are going crazy about this because they can't believe the Battle Box put tobacco in a box. I'm a little surprised, don't get me wrong, but people have been talking about it for a while. I've been hearing them say, you know, oh what about a good cigar, blah blah blah. Some people are gonna love it. Some people are not gonna be a fan. This is a Battle Box Edition cigar. I do like a cigar. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to quit smoking pretty much in general because I have a vape thing now. Yeah, I know, whatever. Um, but, you know, it's got the little battle box, little wrap around it. I'm, I'm anxious to try it out. I do like cigars. If I ever get out to the golf course again, it'll be a perfect little time to try it out. So put that right there. They give that a value of $8.99. I wish I knew what kind of a cigar it is because some of them are pricey. <laughs> uh, next is your black. Mine's broken. I can see it already. Ah, uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company. I am very upset about this. I mean, I'll contact BattleBox. They'll send me another one, I have no doubt. But, man, I was really excited about this because I like the Black Rifle Coffee Company. I definitely like their YouTube channel and all the videos they do. Um, but, as you see, I have a broken AF <laughs> mug. <laughs> anyway, this is what it was going to look like. Right there. And right there. Oh man, that makes me upset. I mean, it's not their fault. I mean, it just sometimes stuff gets rattled around in the shipping. I mean, they did put it in bubble wrap. I mean, there's really nothing more you can do about it than that. Anyway, that's my Black Rifle Company coffee mug, which I was pretty happy about. I don't even drink coffee, but I could drink like cocoa out of it or something. I, I would have drank it. <sighs> All right, next up is my Black Rifle Company 12 ounce bag of Just Black. Uh, again, don't drink coffee, but uh, I've heard good things about this. I don't even have a coffee pot. I have a Keurig, so if I, if they, they need to make those little Keurig things, and I would probably try out at least a couple. I might need a whole bunch of sugar, but you know. I'm just not a coffee drinker. Uh, I've heard good things. So if you're a coffee drinker, yeah, that's great. I got a friend, you know, that drinks coffee like crazy, and he's been asking me constantly about my outdoor boxes if I've gotten any Black Rifle Coffee Company. He's like, hey, did you get any? Did you get any? I'm like, no, I didn't. But he'll probably get it. Um, all right. They give that a value of $12.99. Also $12.99 on the mug. Um, you know, that's what you would pay if you went on their website. So, I mean, I understand that. And you don't just get them anywhere. Uh, next up is the Strike Force Energy 4-Pack Sampler. <laughs> this is a little bit tricky for me because, again, my friend is more into the, uh, the Black Rifle Company and the, uh, the AR-15 people and the AR... Yeah, you, get what, you know what I'm talking about. Matt Best and all that and the Drinking Bros. He talks about the podcast all the time. Well, he heard about this and then he brought this out when we were going hunting one day or going out to the lease, I forget. And I tried this and I literally started getting stomach cramps like right afterwards. And I don't normally get sick to the stomach. So I, I was really kind of like turned off by it. But this comes with... You know, original grape, lemon, and orange. It comes with a few packets of each. Uh, you know, it actually tastes a lot like Red Bull. You know, and you just add it to water and it makes your water taste like Red Bull. And it's supposed to give you energy. But that's what that is. Uh, like I said, I don't know if it was actually this. It could have been anything. But, like my friend, he didn't get sick from it. But for some reason, my stomach went crazy the day that I tried it. And, like, really, like, 
not like diarrhea crazy, just like cramping. So we'll have to think about that one, whether or not I keep those or not. I might just give them to my friend. Uh, next up, that right there, they give that a, a three ninety nine. Wait, what? No, they give that a Strike Force Energy four pack sampler. Just a four pack, so you only get one of each. Three ninety nine. That's not bad for for those, really. All right. Never dry firearm lubricant. Uh, this is very useful. I'm ex I'm actually pretty excited to have it, but I'm not excited about the size. I mean, they're only valuing it at four ninety nine. I understand, or yeah, four ninety nine. But dang, man! I mean, what the heck am I gonna do with this little thing? I mean, send me send me a bottle this size, you know. I mean, this this right here isn't gonna do anything for me. I mean, you gonna get to clean one gun or whatever. It's so little. I don't know. I just I I think that they could have sent a bigger bottle. I don't know why they had sent something this small. I mean, this is, I don't, I, I'm not crazy about it, but it is useful. I will use it. So there you go. The Doc Spartan combo, Combat Ready Ointment. I have saw this, you know, I like most people, I saw it on Craigslist, I'm not Craigslist, but uh, Shark Tank. So, you know, I mean, I'm happy to have it. it smells medical or, no, I don't know what that smell is. It's kind of a minty something like that but this is supposed to uh like help against like maybe burns it's like a medical thing uh, like cuts and stuff like that it's just something you put on cuts to help heal it uh it probably works for other things as well but that's what it is works on rips cuts cuts scrapes scars burns rashes tattoos and much more all right Again, it's pretty small, but I don't know how much I would use it anyway. I mean, I get cuts on my hands all the time from my line of work, but it's whatever. All right, they value that at nine ninety nine. I I don't know. That's a that's an awfully small thing for, for nine ninety nine, but it's what it is. Uh, so that's it. Other than you get your ready made basic, which we all pretty much know how I feel about that by now. Next is your advanced box. There's only two items in your advanced box this month. One is your range 15 DVD. Now, here's the deal. I, I went, my friend, he was in the Navy for nine years. So therefore, he loves these guys. He thinks it's funny. And he bought tickets to a special viewing of it. And I went... And don't get me wrong, there's funny stuff in it. I mean, it's some pretty funny stuff. But a lot of the stuff that was like really funny to other people, I didn't get because I wasn't in the military. There's a lot of stuff in here that's funny to the military people. So he's gonna love this. I'm gonna probably give this to him. Uh, it's just, it's not my cup of tea. I thought it was, I thought there were funny moments in it, but it's, I don't like spoof movies, you know? I don't wanna see, uh, you know, like Scream back in the day, and then they did the the another version of Scream where everybody was, you know, just being stupid. I don't like stupid versions of things. So if it's overly stupid, it's just like it's it bothers me. I don't know why. It just does. All right. Next is the American-made multicam mesh back patch hat. I. I am not a fan of hats and boxes. You know this if you've watched my other videos. And I'm definitely not going to probably be a fan of this hat because it is a swoop back hat. All right? My hats, most of them go up. They don't just swoop back like that. Uh, my hair probably looks a mess. But I'm willing to give it a try. I was wrong before. But no. I mean, that is just way small. I can get three fingers. My goal is to have one finger between the top of my ear and the hat. This one, I can get three in there, like two and a half. Again, 
size items. I just, it's, I'm, I'm abnormal. I know it. Everybody says, you're not a normal size. Okay, fine. But, I mean, this is a extremely small hat. I mean, it's not even close to fitting. And that sucks because I actually really like the fact that, because I don't have any hats like this with the patch. You know, it's got the Velcro hook and loop, whatever, here on the front. It's got the flag embroidered into it, but you can still stick a patch to it. And it's got the American flag on the side, you know. Again, God, my buddy is, I'm just going to keep all this stuff until his birthday. It don't even have a thing on the top. It don't even have a little knob thing, like one of those. Like every hat has one of these little things. It don't even have one. I don't know if I'm missing it, if it popped off. I Man, I did get a mug that ain't quite together. I don't know. Anyway, that's kind of bummed that that bums me out a little bit. I was really excited about the hat, but that's why I don't like hats <laughs> in boxes. Because they take up spot, and I'm almost positive they're never going to fit me. It makes me mad. It makes me really, really mad. All right, we have a card here for the Heritage, uh, the Heritage Flag Company, which they make those little uh, the American flags out of the cask of whiskey barrels, and. I really like this. It's 20% off a of cask. I don't know how much they cost. I'm going to go look at it because I really would like one. So I'm going to look into that and I'll tell you how that goes down. All right. It's members only. Uh, if you enter in the thing, they're going to cross reference your name. So you just got a picture of my code. They're going to cross reference your name. And if you're not a BattleBucks member, then you're not going to get to use that code. All right. Uh, this here is a ND999 Find Your Missing Piece. I guess that's this stuff. Yeah, ND9999. Alright. Uh never dry products. Non-flammable, non-corrosive, non-conductive, coupon code, 10% off. Potent use one drop at a time. I mean if it's one drop, I guess it might last a little while. I don't know. I still think it's too too small. All right, um, yeah, all right, not a huge fan. All right, this is the when we get into the box that I like, you know. You got your, that's your advanced level. They got the Range 15 DVD at 20 bucks and American Made Multicam Mesh Cap at $27.99. That's $30 of my value that I just don't get to use at all. And I'll probably get my mug replaced, but the hat's just... Anyway, uh, the next thing we got is our pro level at $99.99 cost at a $271.92 value. It's the Rockwell Coliseum Raider Project Watch. Alright, I'm pretty excited about this. I like watches. You know, I wear an Apple Watch, which most of the guys on the BattleBox forum have given me hell about. Uh, well, a couple guys anyway. But, you know, I mean, Apple Watch serves a purpose for me. So, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, this is a pretty cool watch, man. I mean, it's it's very tactical, so that's cool. Uh, it seems to be really neat. I don't... I wonder if it has like a... Does it have the light up where it lights up the background? Because I don't see that. Because that is a really dark watch. Alright. I, I can't really... I mean, there should be a light function somewhere. Like if it lit up from behind or something. That'd be cool. But I like the watch. You know, like I said, I could probably wear this out, you know, at the hunting lease or something like that on work days. I don't have to worry about messing up, you know, my Apple Watch. I'm pretty excited about it. Let's see if it fits. <laughs> yeah, it will fit, so that's good. We'll go ahead and put this puppy on real quick. Urgh. It's got a little thing there to stop it on the end. That's crazy. All right. <laughs> All right, 
This is very rubbery band, and it just kind of grips on everything. All right. Yeah, I mean, I like it. So there you go. Uh, I'll read more about it. I don't know. There's yeah. There's instructions. And something uh, part of the money that goes that you spend there goes to the uh, the Raider project, and uh, you can read up on that. But it's a pretty good little you know deal they're doing. So. I'll look at that a little bit more here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and take those out so I can know look at them. All right, that's it for the Pro uh, Ready Man Premium. Okay. All right, next up we have our knife of the month. Now, I don't know how keen I am on this, but I don't have one, so therefore it's whatever. All right. So let's look at it. This here is a scallywag. All right. Handle and body 440C stainless. I've heard that's not that great. I mean, I'm not a huge knowledge person on that stuff. Uh, but surface is SW titanium coating. Overall length 7.8 inches. So let's just see what we got. It's very small. I, I have a hard time believing that this is $150, but I do know that I went on their website and it is $150. But it's a dagger. All right. Got a little bit of oil on it. Packaging oil just to keep it nice and covered. But this is it. Now, I mean, I understand a dagger. I mean, that's cool. I mean, you run some paracord through here, you can put it on a belt and put it on your, put it on your pack, have it here and be like, oh, maybe. That almost stabbed myself, in case you didn't see that. I went down and back up. I'm like, Chah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. The grip don't really fit me very well. I don't know how I feel about this one. I love the trademark, the scallywag, you know, pirate, whatever. And it it's really good sheath. It's got a very good lock in. Very, very pointy. There's no sharpness to the sides at all. It's all point. So, you know, I mean, people were saying it holds an edge, but they said it holds an, an edge well. But this, there's no edge. It's just a sticker. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan. I think it's cool. I don't have one. But it is what it is. I think it's... I mean, it's a dagger, so I mean, I guess it's not supposed to be too big. It don't fit well in my hand. You know, most people, they're always like, you know, let me get it in my hand. I'll see what I think about it. You know, I don't... I got it in my hands. I don't like it. <laughs> so, it is what it is. It's my opinion. I'm sure, you know, my hands are pretty big. So that's it. That's this month's Battle Box. You know, it's not really what you come to expect from a tactical and outdoor uh, box. You know, it's all... But I'm okay with it because I understand what they're trying to do. Fourth of July, veteran-owned, you know, support America. I understand it. But, you know, I mean, it's a lot of fluff. You know, I mean, the cigar... The coffee mug, the DVD, energy drink, coffee. <laughs> I mean, in a SHTF situation, you, you ain't gonna be drinking coffee because there ain't gonna be no coffee around anymore. You ain't gonna need. I mean, I mean, this little ointment that might can save you a little bit. Uh, the gun oil, this little bottle, 
will keep you keep your firearms lubed up for about three days and uh or one round through your little group of people that you got um dagger i mean you can you can use the dagger uh yeah you know the watch i mean depending on what kind of shtf situation it is whatever all right this is a long one i know if you watched it all thank you very much uh Got some giveaways coming up, so pay attention, keep watching, come back, watch some other ones, and you'll have your chance to win some free stuff. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you. Subscribe right down there. It's a red button. It says subscribe. All right? Comment, like, share it with your friends. That'd be awesome. Uh, hit the little thumbs up button. Thank you. That's it for me. I'm out. Y'all have a good one.